Good morning and happy Saturday. Welcome to another vlog. I am going to take you along this day per usual. It is the weekend, so I'm so ready to recharge. Um, I actually just got ready because I'm going up to UTC um, here to the mall there because a fitness studio reached out to me and was like, yo, we're new here. Um, come see what we're all about. And so I was like, okay, cool. But it's... The studio is called The Lit Method, I think, um, or like The Lit Showroom. So it's L-I-T, Low Intensity Training. And I guess their like flagship studio is in LA. Maybe some of you guys know about this. I have no, I, I had no idea until they reached out to me about it. So I'm going to go do that. But first we have breakfast here. So I have, I'm trying to just like spill this, an omelet uh, with egg whites, spinach, mushrooms, that's it. Uh, also pink salt and then a whole egg. And then here I have some oats with strawberry milkshake level one. We got our micro factor. We got our greens and I took my Fomega, my fish oil over there. Cause that's always just like the first thing I do. So I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna go to this mall. Um, this sweatshirt, it's a crop. It has a little drawstring. Um, is actually from Everford. The launch just started 30 minutes ago. And if you see, let me find it. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little hole in mine and I feel so bad. I didn't say anything. It just came like that. Um, but I feel like, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I need another one. Like they were nice enough to send me stuff. It's fine. I'm still gonna wear this cause it's super cute. But yeah, want to let you know that. And then yeah, as far as today goes, just gonna go to this lit place, get lit. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna train and otherwise I'm gonna chill. I do need to go to the grocery store but that's literally the plan for today. And I figured why not vlog it, especially cause I'm doing something different. So there's that and I will see you there. You already know we're gonna make collagen coffee for the road. This cup was sent to me by the girly who owns this company. I think it's like all the coffee.co on Instagram or something like that, but she makes tons of cute Starbucks cups. So check that out. But I wanted to show you how I make this. So it's pretty simple, but we got our scoop of collagen. Yes, I do a full scoop because I cannot contain myself. And then you wanna make sure that you use one of these bad boys to stir that stuff up. Oh, it's getting steamy. All right, and then once you do that, this is the creamer that I've been using, the sweet cream coffee creamer from Chobani. So freaking good. Okay. And then I always just add almond milk. I'm not gonna fill up this whole thing because I don't wanna drink a ton right now, but I do that and then I stir it up again and we are good to go. Oh yeah, doesn't even need stevia. Beautiful. Also, this is where my hair decided to part today. Am I becoming like, what is it? A Gen Z, Zer now or millennial or some shit? I don't know. I don't know, but I've just kind of been letting my hair go wherever it wants to. I usually just flop it back and forth throughout the day. And that is the, the fun fact that no one asked for. But the other thing I was going to mention earlier about this video is I want to give you some updates. I feel like my vlog should just be like weekly recaps because obviously I don't vlog as much as I used to, but I am proud of myself for being more consistent lately um, with vlogging. So there's that. Um, I gotta leave pretty soon, so I'll probably talk to you a little bit later just about like updates. Um, nothing crazy. Things have settled down a little bit now that we have our two new coaches, Sarah and Melissa. Melissa is also a registered dietitian, which is super exciting. Um, and the team continues to grow. So we are a team of nine now. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy. And I know like a year from now, we're gonna look back and be like, oh yeah, we thought that was crazy. You know what I mean? So Feeling good, super excited, but it's the weekend, so I don't really want to focus on business. You know, I have to recharge on the weekends. Like, it's so, so important. It is cloudy outside today, but I know it's going to clear up because that's what San Diego does, and I get to train in the sunshine. And Sailor is underway this weekend. He left, I don't know, a few days ago? Comes back in a few days, which is exciting, but then he's gone for the rest of the month, which is going to be a sad time, but it's okay. 
Um, so usually on the weekends we're like outside a lot. I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and I'm not gonna try, I'm going to hike. Um, but otherwise I'm just taking time to myself. And also, yeah, if you're, if you don't know what underway means, I didn't know that either until I like moved out here and met people who, you know, are in the Navy. And basically underway is when they go out to sea, but not for very long and they don't go very far. Whereas deployment is like a long time and they'd be sailing the world. You know what I mean? So um, that's the difference between deployment and underway if you didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, and if you're new here, my boyfriend is an officer in the Navy. So that's why we call him Sailor Boy. And there's your updates. <laughs> I'm gonna catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so here is the studio. Again, it's called the Lit Method. But here's like the little infographic they have outside. So they have one machine. I'm gonna have um, the girl inside explain everything, but I just went through the workout and yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. So you walk in here and here's Hi. our girly. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel with the Lit Lab of San Diego. And this is our strength machine. Yes, tell us about this bad boy. So this is our basically water rower, but not just a water rower, a full body strength machine. But on the water rower, we have a dual tank water system, levels one through four, 10 to 40 pounds, which is super high resistance. The water is a match for whatever energy you give it. So if you're going for a nice even row, that's what it's gonna give you. If you really start to pull, that is what you're gonna get and you can really get into your cardio. And then, not only that, we have the whole 360 resistance band training system so that you can get in your full, full body. As you can see here, up here we have Justin using the strength bar, your barbell, doing your squats, your deadlifts. Anything you want to get into those big muscles. Over to the right, you see Taylor, our girl, and she has the arm handles. I say those are similar to a dumbbell, but again, using resistance, so it's kind to your bones, your joints. We want to preserve our body. We only have one body in our life, so might as well. But then you can get into your biceps, tricep kickbacks, anything like that. My favorite part, this is a full-blown Pilates machine. So you have your ankle cuff that you can attach right to your ankle, get into your micro muscles, doing your, your leg lifts, your pulses. So we just wanted to be able to use the 360 of the machine, get you a really good workout, but also feeling stellar in your body. Yay, oh, thank so you. <laughs> I know, she killed it. Oh I wanna God. show them. Okay, so look how cute though. Cardio Pilates, oh. Cardio Pilates strength, it's lit. Like how cute, and then they have Ron Burgundy up there stay classy san diego they have like a bunch of san diego stuff all over the walls and then here is obviously where you just saw me work out on display for all the lovely people of the mall, <laughs> mall to see and then they're actually sponsored by puma so they have a little shop over here with all of the goodies and yeah so i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that was not easy i did legs yesterday and i'm very sore but worth it learn some cool stuff and these people rock so if you are in the flagship stores in la yep. correct north hollywood. north hollywood or if you are in san diego this new spot is in westfield utc mall this is actually the first time i've been to this mall um it's awesome it's huge so come come visit okay so that was fun that was like decently taxing i will say i think getting one of those machines would be really ideal for someone who doesn't have gym access or you just prefer to train at home because you can do pretty much everything on that machine it's like a rower and like a reformer they have resistance bands um, that like attach to it similar to a reformer and 
there's different attachments for those as well. So you can do like squats and deadlifts and overhead presses, rows, like all sorts of stuff. I think you could get pretty much everything you need there. Um, besides maybe, no, you could even still do lateral raises because you could use a single hand or single arm attachment. So I really feel like that would be a good um, option. And their whole motto is that it's low impact training, right? So they build you, don't break you, which is great for people like me who have injuries. So anyways, that was really cool. That's the first time I've ever done like a little collab with a um, fitness studio like that. And they're, they're sponsored by Puma, like I told you, and they're going to gift me an outfit and shoes. And I'm like, oh, so exciting. I was supposed to get it today, but it was sent to their LA store. And so they told me they would just mail it to me. I was like, dude, it's fine. Like appreciate it nonetheless. So yeah, that was fun. That was cool. This mall is dope. I'm gonna have to bring Sailor up here. This wall is huge and like bougie, dude. Um, but anyways, yeah, going to go home now and probably wait a little bit um, so I can eat again and then go train my normal training today. So I will see you there. All right. We have trained. We have gone to the grocery store. We are back now. So I'm going to do a grocery haul. Um, but first, as far as training goes, I wanted to give a little update there. So I'll put my side by sides here for two week progress. It's insane, but I can't remember if I talked about this in my last video or not, but basically Alex Bush is doing my programming. So I'm with physique development now and have always loved Alex. Super pumped to be working with him. My body is responding like a charm, loving what we're doing. Basically the way that things have changed is my volume distribution is just very different. Um, so I used to do a lot of sets of like 10 to 12 or 12 to 15, sometimes even 15 to 20. And now I'm basically just doing more sets with less reps. And I really like it because it is a change up. It is challenging. I feel really strong because I can go heavier on lower reps and I'm loving the results. Um, but the way that my split is laid out is upper, lower, upper, lower. And then my fifth day, which is today, is a it's one hamstring movement one glute movement and then three shoulder movements which is like a beautiful day and it's just it's more of like a metabolic day so it's not as taxing as the other days which they all kill me but leg days especially kill me i died yesterday i know part of it is because i'm pmsing so hard um and i mean it's supposed to start for like five days but this one is just gonna be a rough one i can feel it so we got the damn thing done today was good trained in the sunshine i love it i've been going to a new gym here um because i just need a gym <laughs> that is not as busy and i really wasn't the biggest fan of the gym i used to go to i missed my og gym tg the gym that's where i prepped here um but parking became an issue there and yeah i was like i just need my own place so i found a hidden gym and the owner is so nice. He's my homie. We're friends. It's cool. I just like to have my own thing. Like I don't see people I know there. It's lovely. So anyway, that was today's training. And now this grocery haul is pretty um, substantial. I literally just spent $125, partly because I had some cravings, um, partly because I bought just new things that I don't usually buy. Um, just in terms, you'll see, of like protein, like I bought stuff to make sandwiches and you know, every piece of the sandwich adds up. So I will say this is definitely not a balling on a budget uh, grocery haul, but some weeks I literally spend like $30. Like if the week prior I get like buy one, get one chicken, I'll like freeze one of them. I don't know, my groceries fluctuate, but this again, this one's pretty substantial. So we are just gonna go through everything here and we're gonna start off with the most important part, the everyday bagels, okay? If you don't know, <laughs> these are everything bagels. Get the Sara Lee brand. They're the best, they're the softest. And I call them everyday bagels because you should be eating a bagel every day, okay? And these are so good. I have these pre-workout every day with whipped cream cheese and salmon, like smoked salmon on one, and then whipped cream cheese and strawberry jelly on the other. Both of them, phenomenal, phenomenal. Sailor tried the salmon one the other day and was like, what the hell, that's so good. And I was like, yeah, Chef Melindy is gonna be challenging you in the kitchen. So anyways, got those. And then for my sandwiches. Okay. So I had a dream the other night that I was eating a sandwich and I was like, yo, I love sandwiches. So I put it to my, I added it to my list, but I got this oat nut bread from Aura Wheat. I used to eat this bread all the time in law school. It's so good. I will say one slice is 19 carbs. So probably not the best if you're like dieting, unless you want to make a little half sandwich. But even then, like, come on, 40 carbs for a sandwich. Like that's a decent meal, you know? So good. The oat nut bread is so good. So get it. And 
For my spread, I have always been a Miracle Whip gal. I really, like, I grew up with Miracle Whip. I don't really know if I like real mayonnaise or not. I don't really know if there's a difference. Um, but this is gonna be my spread. I got light. I didn't even look at the macros. Two carb, 1.5 fat per tablespoon. So I don't know, it's probably a little lower calorie than regular, but grab that. And then for my chiz, I got wild cheddar, sliced cheese um, for my sandwiches. And then for my proteins, I got golden roasted chicken breast and wildflower honey turkey breast. Um, so it's like, these are the things that just add up really fast. But I told myself, you know what? We're gonna live our best because we're mindful with spending all around and I want a sandwich. <laughs> oh, and then I also got some shredded lettuce. I wanted to get like the big pieces of lettuce, but those can be kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna put some of this on there. And then I got some tomatoes to slice up as well. And I'm gonna make a sandwich right after this, I'll show you. Um, but anyway, there's that. And then I got some strawberries cause like you can't just have a sandwich. You need some on the side, you know? So I got some strawberries. Restocked on spinach and mushrooms for my egg white omelets in the mornings. I also restocked on my Italian breadcrumbs. It's been a minute since I had to buy one of these um, cause there's just so much in there, but needed to restock. I also picked up some laughing cow cheese. I spread this on my tortillas when I make tacos, which are still very much a thing I plan on eating this week. Also picked up another almond milk. I put some in my coffee every morning. And if I have protein cereal at night, I need that. So there's that. Um, other proteins. Here is the salmon that I put on bagels. I get smoked salmon. This thing alone is $10. So like half the week I eat the salmon. The other half, it, both bagels get just jelly. Um, but I did have a huge pack of smoked salmon for the last two weeks. That was $20. And they didn't have those today. I was like, hmm, dang it. Um, and it was way more than if I bought two of these. So anyways, I just got one and then I picked up some uh chicken breast tenders just a lot easier to work with than a chicken breast because those are some sick titties okay um let's see here as far as snacks slash cravings go um yeah we got popcorn we got kettle corn because that's obviously the best choice you can always get the i can't believe it's not butter spray and add that if you want some more some more butter and then i have a craving for literally probably a week or two Chocolate chip cookies, just a good OG chocolate chip cookie. And I was looking at all the options in the cookie aisle and I was like, none of these cut it. I almost got the Chips Ahoy Chewy red package. Those are good, but like, they're not great. Like the flavor, I like the chewy, the flavor's not perfect. So I got the tried, trusted and true Nestle Toll House. I'm gonna make my own fucking chocolate chip cookies. I'm really excited for those. So those will come to handy this week when I am just continuing to be a mess, but anyways, also, uh, restocked on my K-Cups. I just get the French vanilla ones from Green Mountain. Most of the time I make my coffee at home. Sometimes I'll go get Starbucks, but it's been pretty rare these days. And then random bathroom stuff. Um, I got Old Spice deodorant, Wilderness with Lavender, aluminum-free deodorant. Yes, I always use men's deodorant. I feel like it works better, but I'll be honest, some days I feel like no deodorant works on me. I will put it on and two hours later, I'm like, why do I smell myself? What is happening? Anyways, also restocked on my toothpaste, found a little value pack. I always use the Toms because it's fluoride free. I think that's what it's missing. No artificial dye, yeah, fluoride free. Um, I switched to this when my skin was having a lot of issues because I was breaking out around my mouth. This fixed it. Okay, get Toms, get anti-plaque and whitening. It will keep your teeth so white. And uh, restocked on makeup wipes. So. It's also stuff like that that adds up, obviously, so I'm not even, I'm not that mad. But um, I did kind of look around and I found some more affordable <laughs> deli meat than these guys, because these are like, these are like the private selection brand, like the fancy, you know what I mean? Um, so next time I'll just get a little bit more affordable ones and it'll be a little bit more budget friendly. But yeah, there's the grocery haul for you. As far as nutrition goes, I will say I'm not tracking, um, I tracked my food for about a week, not trying to hit numbers. I just ate and then I tracked it just to see where I was. And yo, I was killing it. Like I stay killing it because I tracked for so long. So when I looked at um, my freaking numbers, I was around like 140 to 150 protein, which is always what my protein was at. I was around like, mm, 225 to 250 carb, which like is great. And then fats was like 50 to 60. I still like to keep my fats like 
kind of high like in body world body body world in bodybuilding world 50 is like normal and i stayed at 50 grams of fat for too long that's why i didn't have a period i know it i know it i like to eat more fat than that so i was very happy with where i was i'm not tracking anymore um i just i know i'm good <laughs> so yeah there's that and those are the updates for now so i'm gonna make a sandwich and i'll show you the the final product okay wow just look at me go i'm so excited for this got the strawberries forgot about our ritz crackers okay we got those too mm, i'm so excited this makes my heart so happy okay um i don't know what else i'll have going on for the day but i'll catch up with you in a bit all right so i started watching this documentary it's on hulu it's exclusive to hulu it's called we work or the making and breaking of a 47 billion dollar unicorn so okay a unicorn is a company that is valued at at least a billion dollars and we work worked all the way up to $47 billion and then apparently went bankrupt in six weeks. I don't know why I'm an hour into it and there's still like 40 minutes, but this shit is insane. Like, I, I don't know. I think it's so interesting. So anyways, watch that. But I just went to Kava for the Saturday night convenience. So here's what we have. It's just my usual, um, I get white rice and spinach and then for protein, I do chicken and falafel. I threw some potatoes in there and then, um, Traditional hummus, tzatziki sauce, um, roasted red pepper hummus, Greek vinaigrette, tomatoes, cucumbers, corn, and I think that's everything. And then I got my little pita dude over here. So I am Jay chilling for the rest of the night. And yeah, that's the update for now. Okay, so just finished the WeWork documentary. And <clears throat> I'm gonna try to summarize this as best as I can. I just told Lexi about it, so I got a practice run. Um, but so the CEO um, initially got this investor uh, from Japan. His name was Masa, and he gave him four billion to take WeWork global. So he starts doing that, whatever, whatever. And then it, it turns out that like the turnover rate for WeWork, like people leaving from renting offices and whatnot was getting to a point where it was not good. <laughs> it was not going to be profitable. And the CEO, his name's Adam, like just kept lying about it, like in all his interviews, like whatever, whatever. And, um, this guy who was actually part of, he was like a client of WeWork. Like he rented a space in there. He did stuff with data. That was what his business was. Um, and his bots found out about the WeWork turnover. And so he wrote a blog and published that. And then WeWork was like, yo, you have to take this down. And he just ignored it. And then they came to his office in WeWork and they're like, you have to go. Like, you're violating something, whatever, whatever. Well, obviously that blog like went viral. And then like the news picked up on it, media outlets, everything like that. And... While this is all happening, um, Adam <laughs> was basically cooking their books, like fucking up the numbers. So, so EBITDA is earnings before interest, taxation, depreciation, and amortization. So basically it's your revenue, like really the cash that you're generating, um, before all that shit. And he was making that look better, like so much better, more in the green than the truth, because he just created his own thing called like community amended EBITDA. And he just like didn't account for his expenses, like no overhead. So it looked like the cash flow sheet looked really good because there were no expenses. So at this point, he's like, fuck, like I need more money, right? So Masa, Japanese investor talks to the Saudi Arabians and gets them in on it because he's like, dude, put in a bunch of money. I will obviously make you way more. I'll get you in early. And the Saudis want to like get in on it because they want to be done with the oil business because it's a dwindling asset. So the Saudis were going to put in $45 billion. Um, and Masa was like, okay, cool. And then this is amidst everything coming out about the finances. So the whole world knows because it's public now. Um, just after that one blog thing, right? Um, amongst other things. But then 
uh, Masa calls Adam and is like, sorry, dude, like the Saudis are out. Like, it's just, it's just not going to work. So in a matter of six weeks, WeWork went from $47 billion in value to almost bankrupt. Like, that is so sad. I just think it's so interesting. And like, he really did fuck it all up. Um, he, uh, he stepped down as CEO, um, after drug allocations and got 1.7 billion to leave his own company. And there was, there's so many other nuances to like him fucking this up, but just, you should just watch it. Um, but anyways, the people that we work laid off, like they got, they didn't get shit. And this one girl who is like part of the documentary, she was like, I've done so much therapy because I just felt like so lost. Like I lost my purpose and like everybody who helped build WeWork up to what it is like didn't get shit. And I was like, this is really sad. Like he just fucked up his own company and fucked up so many other people's lives and their livelihoods. I don't know. It was super interesting. You should, like I said, definitely watch it. There's like new management at WeWork at the end. It said they're on track to become profitable in 2021. So that's cool. I mean, good for them. Cause I think it is a cool concept. And like maybe with the whole COVID thing, um, you know, we work, will take off again or at least co-working spaces. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just love shit like this business shit, legality shit. It's just interesting. It's just something a little different. Uh, cause I finished rewatching house of cards, but the other thing that I have been doing is sailor boy bought a Nintendo switch and he bought my favorite game, which is Animal Crossing. Please tell me you guys know Animal Crossing because it is the shit. And he was like, he, he'd say he's not going to take the Switch with him until he goes on deployment this summer. So when he goes underway, he leaves it with me and he's like, you need to just play this to decompress. And I'm like, you know, what? this is so nice because I'm so like, it's just so simple and it really does help me just relax. So I'm probably going to play Animal Crossing for a bit after I shower. I played my piano last night too, which was nice. But yeah, that is today's video. I feel like it's probably going to be decently long, but it was a fun day. Tomorrow's Easter. So if you celebrated happy, I hope you had a happy Easter. Um, I'm going to FaceTime my family. I'm going to go hike. I'm going to be outside and it's going to be a nice recharge Sunday. I'm very excited. Um, but otherwise, I'm just really fucking tired. I'm so tired. Like, it's the fatigue for me like this. Mm, this is no PMS joke. So <sighs> might, might be a rough week, but we're not going to look at it that way. We're going to look at it as being grateful for being a functional woman and waking up every damn day and being able-bodied and all of the gratitude things. So there's that. But yeah, I'm going to shower. I'm going to wrap up this video here. So I miss YouTube. I know I say it every video, but I, I told you in this one, I'm proud of myself for doing this today. It helps when I do like extra shit, like cool shit. Most of the time I just want to really get in my quality time with Sailor and like he doesn't care if like I vlog, but I just don't, I don't care to vlog when I'm like trying to be with him. So anyways, there's my thoughts, but yeah, if you have video suggestions, let me know in the comments. It is a vlog channel. I'm not going to sit down and like film a here's how to do a lap pull down <laughs> like some shit. Those days are long, long gone. Um, that's already been done. I feel like vlogs are the only truly individualized YouTube channel things these days, which is cool. Cause then you get to see people's lives and that's fun. So anyway, there's that. But yeah, as always, if you watched until now, I'm taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.